Hello. My name is Lauren Blandon, and I'm a fertility yoga instructor. Fertility yoga was born of my own experiences going through fertility treatments, as well as my long-time experience as a yoga practitioner and instructor. Let me back up a little bit. I was a professional ballet dancer and along the way found yoga. I was incredibly fortunate to have studied under some very well-known teachers who helped to bring yoga from the East to the West. I apprenticed under them, I assisted them in teacher trainings, and I learned therapeutics, which is a form of rehabilitation using yoga, pranayama, which are breathing techniques, and meditation, specifically vipassana meditation. When I decided to go through fertility treatments, I went through a series of tests and found out that I have low ovarian reserve. I was shocked. How could someone like me, who was so mindful about what they put in and out of their body, who was so regimented with my, my physical routines, how could someone like me have low ovarian reserve? But with that information, it helped to determine what style of fertility treatments I would go through, and I opted for IVF. Before I went through treatment, my doctor told me that I was going to have to back off of my physical routine because of something called ovarian torsion. Ovarian torsion is when the ovary or fallopian tube will twist on itself. And this is something that can happen through fertility treatments, specifically IVF. When this happens, blood is no longer able to access the ovary and the ovary will die. The only way to remedy this is through emergency surgery. This piqued my interest because at that same time, I was taking lots of science classes preparing for nursing school, and I wanted to understand what was happening both physically and physiologically in the body. And so I really dove deep trying to understand what was happening and how I could prevent ovarian torsion while going through fertility treatments. So while I knew I was going to have to back off of my regular yoga practice, which at the time was consisting of both Ashtanga and Iyengar yoga, these are both very physical, very demanding, and athletic styles of yoga. I also knew that my yoga practice was going to help me during this time, I, and I didn't want to abandon it completely. We all know how beneficial yoga is for the physical body, but it is extraordinary for the mind. And because this was going to be a very stressful time, a time of uncertainty, I, I wanted my yoga practice to support me while I, I went on this journey. So I shelved my Ashtanga and Iyengar practice, and I instead started practicing a style of restorative yoga, which is something that I did do every month during my period. Restorative yoga is when you take simple, relatively uncomplex postures, you support them with props, and you hold them for a longer period of time. In doing so, this sends a parasympathetic nervous system response to the body, and it, it shuts down the fight or flight response and turns on the feed or breed, or the rest and digest portion of the nervous system, which is when blood, oxygen, nutrients, goes to the reproductive organs and it sends a signal to the body that lets us know that we are safe. We don't have to fend off any tigers and that we can be. When you take the physical postures and couple them with intentional, systematic breathing, it sends a direct response to your mind and allows your mind to settle. Just think about it. Think about if you are upset, think about if you've been crying, and think about what that does to your body. It really revs everything up, it zhuzhes everything up, and when you slow down your breathing, when you take full, slow breaths, that helps to calm everything down. So the physical postures, coupled with the intentional, systematic breathing, is a gateway for meditation. Meditation is yet another tool that helps to steady and calm the mind. My hope is that no matter where the fertility journey leads you, that the virtues of yoga are something that you will take with you. For some people, 
they will go on to become parents. And the virtues of yoga will consist of patience, compassion, definitely a sense of humor. These are all things that you will take with you as you become a parent and hopefully continue on with your yoga practice and you will continue to build upon these virtues. You will strengthen them as you, as you move along. For others, the fertility journey might lead in a different direction, but the practice of yoga is just as important, possibly even more so, because you learn about attachment, clinging, and these are the ways in which our mind keeps us trapped, keeps us on this hamster wheel, and keeps us in a state of suffering. And when you're on the hamster wheel, it's hard to get off. So the practices of yoga teach us about impermanence, again, compassion, friendliness, and this ultimately brings us to a state of peace, which is your natural state. So ultimately, you're coming back home. If you'd like to work with me, please find me on my website at laurenblandonyoga.com. I work one-on-one -on -one with clients. I have group courses that are available. You can also find me on Instagram at lauren underscore blandon. And I also have a YouTube channel at Lauren Blandon. Please email me with any questions you might have. I hope to serve you in any way that I am able. And my greatest hope for you is that you will find peace no matter where you are. Namaste.